all right guys so i have a quick update to share with you um happy weekend to you it's a beautiful friday afternoon good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day all right i don't want to waste much of your time it is just a quick update so um just as you have seen on your screen that um based on the drug trafficking of um Bola Tinibu. of course we know that um 29 of this month uh Tinibu is going to be inaugurated as the nigerian's next president so a lot of people is of opinion that since the um election is being challenged at the tribunal Tinibu should not be inaugurated and then um people that is benefiting from the party the government um is of opinion as well that Tinibu should be inaugurated uh even though the case is at the uh, the petition is at the tribunal that it happened uh, during the um, uh, at uh, sorry Obasanjo and um, Buari in the 2003 okay that there was a um, inauguration even when the case was still in court and then a lot of people is of opinion that Kenya had to conclude election petition within 14 days that how come Nigeria that call themselves giant of Africa cannot replicate. As in, look at Kenya. You understand. But that is, by the way, so coming back to um, the drug uh, trafficking of uh, Tinibu, uh, Gotterman, okay, of course, you know that um, Dennis Jeffrey, Gotterman is an ally to uh, Peter Ubi, uh, made a request to FBI uh, demanding a full details, okay. Of full details of uh, that Tinibu's um, drug trafficking uh, case that uh, forfeited about, um, I think, 460,000 US dollars some time ago. Okay, um, we already know uh, Gutterman is a retired American mental health counselor. Okay, so um, so far, so good. The update I have for you is that the FBI has declined to release the record, okay, the record that is related to Tinibu's 460,000. Uh, for future in the U.S. due to the request not meeting the attempts of service and to prevent an invasion of personal privacy. So Gutterman shared the FBI's response on this um, Twitter handle, highlighting the FBI's reference to Tinibu as Tinibu Bola Ahmed, okay, raising question about how they had access to the Ahmed part of his name. All right, so. Um, according to uh, Gutterman, um, he asked for the record, just like I told you guys, about the uh, U.S. drug trafficking of uh, Tinibu. So let me quickly give you um, what Gutterman says um, on his official Twitter handle. So in his tweet, Gutterman said, See below a copy of the letter I received today from the FBI regarding uh, my request. Based on the Freedom of Information Act for the FBI file on Bola Tinibu, my request was rejected because according to the FBI, the existence of files on third-party individuals will neither be confirmed nor denied by the FBI due to unwarranted invasion of personal privacy. I found it not worthy that in my online submission, I refer to Tinibu as Bola Tinibu, but in their letter, the FBI referred to him as Tinibu Bola Ahmed. How would the FBI assess the Ahmed part of his name? Again, I did not provide the Ahmed part of his name in my submission. Moreover, it is a public knowledge that the FBI has a file on Tinibu for his $460,000 for future to the U.S. The letter also states that if I receive their response through standard mail, which I did. This is because my online submission did not meet the terms of service. According to the letter, my options are to number one, submit any questions by email or call their office. Number two, administratively appeal their decision within 90 days of the date of their letter and or number three, seek dispute resolution by email. I will now consider my next plan of action. All right, so that is the latest update that I have for you. Uh, if you have anything to contribute, uh, put it down in the comment section below. Of course, um, these are um, some of the evidence that um, Peter will be or Anati Kwaubaka will be using, okay, for their petition, you know, that Tinibu is not qualified to 
uh, contest as the president. These are the issues that will be raised, okay? And it is left for the court to decide all these issues that will be raised by Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar. All right, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. See you guys in another update.